Hey everyone. This Wednesday for the five to 12 year olds in their craft kit, they will be receiving the supplies to make this very fun and colorful tissue paper owl craft. Yeah. So let's get started. So you're gonna take your, first thing you're gonna do is take your glue and you want this to be a thin glaze. Okay, so you pour your glue into your cup and then you're going to thin it down with some water and you want it to be a pretty thin glaze, not that consistency. Okay, so what you're going to do, the first thing you're going to do to get your project going is take your tissue paper and your glue, and this takes a little bit of a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So you take some glue and put it onto your owl shape, put the tissue paper on, and then put some glue back on top just like that. Then you do that until the entire plastic owl shape is covered and if some goes over the side that's totally fine because at the very end we will be trimming it off. So I'm going to continue putting tissue paper on my plastic frame and then be back in just a second. So this is going to take about two hours to dry completely before we can put the adhesive shapes on it. All right, my friends, it's been two hours since I have finished my plastic tissue paper form and it is nice and dry now. There is a couple places that are still tacky, but I think that's gonna be okay. And this is what it looks like when it's all dry. I'm gonna show you the book that this craft gets its inspiration from. And the book is Hoot Owl, Master of Disguise, and this is written by Sean Taylor. And this book is a very fun book. It has a lot of really pretty illustrations in it. And it is a book about this little owl and he is the master of disguise and he's trying to hunt down his prey. And in the course of the book, you will see him switch numerous times into different disguises. And it's a lot of fun to read. And you can get this with our library to go program. All right, my friends, let's get started. So you have your plastic shape that is covered with a tissue paper. And the next step that you're going to do is apply your brown owl adhesive frame to your plastic tissue paper covered form. So what I like to do is start at the top and this frame, the brown frame, is a little bit bigger than the plastic shape. So you don't want to force it to fit because it will just kind of bubble and not look very good. So we just want to take off this adhesive starting at the top. And start applying it to the owl's shape. And then just continue to take off paper that it fits on the plastic shape. Just like that. And if there's excess plastic around the edge, that's okay because it will be trimmed off in just a second. All right, so now that our brown frame is on, we are going to start putting on our adhesive shapes. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. And these are attached just like this, so they're not individual eyes, they are attached. You peel off the adhesive and pop those right here on your little owl, just like so. Next, I'm going to put on the feet. And again, these are adhesive, and they're going to go down here on these little ridges the bottom of the owl and let's do it to the other side as well just like that let's put on the wings one on each side of the owl just like that And to the other side. His knee looking cute. He's very cute. Got the stick on here. 
very cute. Now he needs a beak. You put it like this, or like this, however you want it to look. Then I'm gonna flip him over and use this adhesive rectangle to secure the cord to the back of my bird, or my owl, so I can hang it up. And you can use the shiny side or the matte side, however you want. I did it both ways so you can see. This is what it looks like with the shiny side. And this is the matte with the tissue paper on the front. So shiny and matte. And then the last step that you're going to do is just trim off any excess paper or plastic that is around the edge of your bird. just to give it a little bit cleaner look. Just like that. And that looks pretty good to me. I think he's just really cute. And again, this is available with our Craft and Go program for the Wednesday five to 12 year olds. And the time is from 3 to 4, and it is while supplies last.